solve each literal equation for the indicated variable. We have p is equal to 11h. We're asked to solve for h. So notice we already have the variable term isolated. So we don't need to add or subtract. We just need to remove that factor of 11. So I will divide through by 11. Now p divided by 11, I don't know a specific value for p, so I would just leave it as p over 11 is equal to h. And again, if we want to have the h variable first, h is equal to p over 11. We're told about the perimeter of an isosceles trapezoid, and that's equal to p is equal to 2a plus capital B plus lowercase b, and we're asked to solve for a. So we identify the variable term. Now we have to remove any other terms from, the, from that side. So I will start by subtracting capital B from both sides. So P subtract capital B is equal to 2A plus lowercase b. I have not isolated the variable term. Notice I, the variable term is 2A and I still have that lowercase b associated with it. There's another term. So let me subtract b from both sides. Lowercase b, that is. p subtract capital B subtract lowercase b. No like term, so I'll just leave it as b, uh, p subtract capital B subtract lowercase b is equal to 2a. So I now have the variable term isolated, and so to isolate the variable itself, I will divide through by 2 and I have to divide each of these terms by 2, or the entire expression by 2. And so then I can write that a is equal to p subtract capital B subtract lowercase b divided by 2. Now there's nothing wrong with this. Sometimes, however, you'll see this written in different ways. We could write this as a equals capital P over 2 minus capital B over 2 minus lowercase b over 2. It's sort of the use of the distributive property. And we can also think of those P over 2, well that's a 1 P over 2, a 1 capital B and a 1 lowercase b. And so that's the same thing as a equals 1 half P minus one-half capital B minus one-half lowercase b. Either of those is also acceptable. And we sometimes see them written in those other forms, so it's nice to be aware of them.